Hello everyone. Welcome to Excel Highway, your one-stop shop for all your Excel needs. Today I want to share with you a nice little trick that I found to allow you to convert weekly data into daily data and from the daily data you can build it to basically any kind of um, uh, time horizon, monthly, quarterly, yearly, etc, etc, very easily. So very simple and very quick. We have the weekly data. We have one column with the weekly date. And the assumption is that, you know, every week there is a, um, a line. Um, there's, for example, two columns for SKU production. There's also the number of working days in that week. And there's another data hours worked. And of course, if you don't have this, or if it's a fixed number, for example, they always work five days or six days or whatever, you can just uh, freeze this or change it later in, in the formulas that I do share. But um, but this is just to give you um, an idea of, of the flexibility. So this is the, the simple data. Then there's this part, which is the daily data. This is where I'm breaking down the weekly data, this line, basically into seven lines per day. Okay, and how does it go? Basically, the first one is the um, minimum date because that's the starting point, right? So this is the first, I assume the first date is the first day. And then everything from there is just plus one. Now, um, here I'm just picking up using VLOOKUP and the just using the column number, but you could just replace that with a number. But I'm basically pulling the data, okay? Let me just erase this part so you see it. I'm, I'm pulling the information, so I will pu pull this information, and then I will just multiply by the working day, which I'll show you soon what that is, divided by the working total working days. Now, working day depends on this. So each day, of course, has its day. I'm using the weekday formula. It starts two. That means it starts at a Monday. And the way I set it up is if this number is greater than this number, then it's not a working day, right? If I have five working days, so one through five is working day, six and seven are not going to be a working day. You can see here it's six. So we're going to have six working days. So this uh, binary um, um, cell is going to be very helpful for us to understand how do we split th the weekly data. And as you can see, what this does is whenever there's a zero, there's no data for that day. So we split the, per the uh, data, the production, and the hours worked. So we took the 788 and actually divided by 5. Okay, and we got 157 which is exactly what we got over here. So that's pretty much it. I also put it here, the weekly data, just in case you want to understand the real weekly data. And the way the formula works is whenever it finds a one, meaning it's the first day, then that's gonna be equal to the date. Okay, so every every seven days, it's, it changes to the next, um, the next week, the next Monday. Um, so basically here you have the daily data built for you every day, whatever data you have over here, the working days, um, which is, uh, helping you to, um, distribute it every one. So now, 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 once we built this on a daily, um, bucket, then everything can really be, um, easy to manipulate because now I can just insert a pivot table. I have a sheet called pivot table, so I'm going to use that. Okay, and now when I enter the date, I can, for example, use the group option and group by months and years. And now I'm going to be able to pull the SKU production, change that to sum. So now what's nice is that here, for example, this week is a um, 
a week that's both in January and in February. So it's always difficult to understand what falls in January, what falls in February. But once we split it up to uh, days, all right, so we have this one for January and everything else for that same week. It's going to be in February. So here in the pivot table, it just falls right into, into place. So you can just add, of course, all of the information that we had before and build KPIs and whatever you want to do. And, and of course, you can also group it into quarters even, quarter year. So this is this can be very helpful for you if you want to manipulate the data. So that's it. So you have the weekly data set up. You have the daily data that's pulling from that weekly, um, and you can uh, very easily uh, use this whenever you want to transfer information. You don't need to manually input the information and break it into the specific months or days, and um, give it a try. If you uh, enjoyed this video, I'd be uh, very thankful for you if you hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment. Of course, I can always share with you the template. Just let me know. And um, take care. See you next video.